Wolfsburg, who lost to Villarreal yesterday. A couple of wins for Villarreal, too. They've had quite the weekend for themselves, Richard. Yeah, definitely. They've been very impressive. Or just that little bit more special, particularly yesterday. They've got the goals that mattered to win this competition. They want to hang around. To a miserable couple of days here in North London from their point of view. And the presentation area has been prepared. Laurie Berryman, the UK Vice President of Emirates, will do the honours. Well, you can't really argue with doing it in front of your own fans. In the grand scheme of things, perhaps, people won't remember this. But it ought to be a gigantic boost for the season ahead, Richard. For the win and the performance, the manner of them as well, I think for, for, for three halves in particular, they were very good. We said in commentary, of course, that, it, that they don't have that Champions League qualifying game that they, they've had of late in the last few years. And you just wonder whether not having those competitive games added to their calendar has made Arsene Wenger take this tournament that, that little bit more seriously. He wants the, the level of success, but he wants the performance. He wants the intensity of performance. And he would have addressed that at half time today because off the ball, they, they were a little bit lackluster. Just let Wolfler come and dominate possession, which doesn't normally happen here. So he clearly addressed that at half time, and he, he got a much more focused and intense Arsenal performance. And a really good win for them to kick start this season. One that, for me, sees them going in with realistic hopes of achieving something special. Richard, thanks for your company these past couple of days. Arsenal beating Lyon 6-0 yesterday, Wolfsburg 1-0 today. They prevail in the 2015 Emirates Cup. Gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Look, Martin, I know it's only pre-season, but it's another trophy. They've won a couple now in this pre-season, and we've said that word momentum so many times over the last couple of days, but you feel they are picking up a bit of that now. When you're winning trophies in your own domestic season and then, you know, you win one in pre-season like this, you know, it, it all bodes well for the next year. You've got a community shield coming up now next week. This fellow will want to get his hands on that. I'm sure those players will as well. You know, it, it breeds success when you're winning games. And there's a, there's a change of atmosphere around the, around, just around the stadium. The players listening to the interviews are now feeling like there's maybe a chance that they can go on. It's a hell of a long way to go. I would be concentrating just on next week. This is messages that can be sent out. That game, head to head, Chelsea champions will want to just reaffirm that they're the, they're the boys in town, they're the ones, they're the number one team. You might be prospective challengers, but you've got it to do, and that's what it's about. Chelsea are the team in charge at the moment. You're right. Next week, it could be a big psychological test. Yeah, the, the community uh, the community shield's an interesting one. Uh, played against Chelsea, drew 0-0 in, in uh, 90 minutes and lost on penalties. We thought we were going to have a great season at Portsmouth, and it wasn't that great. Chelsea, I don't think, went on to win the league either that, that, that year, but what you're saying about momentum, winning habits, for sure, and it could have been quite easy after the 6-0 uh, yesterday to come in and draw a 0-0. The game changed, and they made some substitutes. That, that momentum, that impetus got into the game. Oxley chamberlain as we said before, uh, Rain Adelaide. I mean, it was some good performances there for you to go into training, to go into the, 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 the community shield, and then obviously into the league the weekend after. Yeah, they're in a, they're in a good place at the moment. You just wonder if another big sidles here, they're going to go up another notch. Well, you know, it's one of those things, Arsene Wenger now they are. The club is in a healthy position financially. Does he want to buy a new player? Only he will know. He knows how good this, this group really is. That decision will come down to him. His biggest problem is picking the best 11 because there's so many options for him now. And that's the position he's always wanted to be in. They certainly reminded us in this tournament just briefly how good they can be. When it all goes flowingly well, it is very fast, this pacey is football the way they like to play. Yeah, and the, the Leon game, I mean, Leon were poor. I mean, no wonder they've gone home early. I mean, they, 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 they weren't great. And today, it spells, yes, they looked electric. Defensively, there's still a question mark. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Enjoyed your company here, as always. Arsenal lift that trophy for the first time since 2010. Now it's the um, well, it's the big game at Wembley against Chelsea next. We'll have that live for you next Sunday, 2.30pm. Hope to see you there. Bye for now.